Hello guys, welcome back to Verified So. This video is very important. This is just before you enter into the DV lottery. But I begin this video with two sad stories of two unsuccessful DV selectees. These selectees, they were scheduled for interviews and their interviews were not successful. They ended up being denied their visas. And these stories act as a help to all of you that are going to enter into the upcoming DV lottery. The first story is of a Cameroonian guy. This guy was selected as a DV winner and he filled in his DS-260 and submitted and waited for the second notification letter, which he received. Then he went through the medical examination and paid all the fees. And there he was at the interview. And during the interview process, something that we can consider as minor erupted. And this resulted to him being denied the visa. What happened is this. During his entry, in the place where you select your city of birth, this guy was born in a village and not in a city. And this village was next to a city. And on the birth certificate, the place of birth was the name of that village. But when filling in the DV entry, the guy decided to put the name of the city that is next to his village of birth. Instead of putting the name of the village, he put the name of the city in which he was not born. And therefore, this resulted to be an error because the birth certificate indicates the name of the village, but in the application, it indicates the name of the city. So the consular officer decided that he had not placed the correct name of the place of birth. The consular officer there regarded this as a fraud because what appears in the application is different from what appears on the birth certificate in terms of the place of birth and the city of birth. The second story is of a Liberian guy as well. And he as well went through all the process, filling in the DS-260, receiving the second notification letter, and also attending the examination, the medical examination, and the interview. And during the interview, another error that we consider as minor also came up. And in this case, the guy had made some mistake in the spelling of his name. What name appeared on his birth certificate was not the same name that appeared on the application. And it only had some misspelling errors. So the consular officer considered that this name is different from that which is on the birth certificate and therefore this is a fraud. And the guy ended up, unfortunately, not getting the visa. These two stories are very sad because normally such errors will not deny you the visa. In many cases, they have not denied the selectees the visas. But in this case, we see they have. What we may consider as very minor has resulted to be very grievous mistakes. Therefore, this is a surprise. And what can we do to prevent these mistakes? Because what we have to do is to ensure that these slight errors, we don't repeat them in our cases. Let us not ignore some certain errors on the basis that they are minor to you but in the end would result to your visa being denied. These two guys did not expect that. 
getting selected is one thing and winning the visa is another thing. Getting selected in a DV lottery, we know it's a very rare case. And therefore, it's something that we have to hold dearly and with a lot of caution to prevent us not receiving our diversity visas. And therefore, I have two recommendations, and these are very serious recommendations. One is that you have to have your birth certificate together with the birth certificates of those that will appear in your application, that is your derivatives. Have this birth certificate as you are making your application. Having the birth certificates will help you eliminate majority of these slight mistakes that costed these two guys their diversity visas. In an upcoming video, I'm going to discuss into details how important having the birth certificates with you when applying is very crucial and critical. And we shall go step by step in how it can help you a great deal prevent these errors. The next important thing to have or to know is what qualifies you for this DV lottery. Is it through the high school diploma or is it through the two-year work experience? And you should know this during your application. Know the level of your education. Is it past the high school diploma? Is it the high school diploma? Or is it through the two-year work experience? And therefore, when you are making this application, you will have to select correctly whether it is high school diploma or the two-year work experience. And how do you select this? If you have the high school diploma or the high school certificate, make sure you select high school degree. And don't mistake this with high school no degree. High school no degree means that you did not attain the high school diploma. You did not achieve your high school diploma and therefore you don't have that certificate, that diploma. If you are selecting to qualify via the high school diploma, select high school degree. But if you don't have the high school certificate, you do not reach. Therefore, you either select high school no degree if you did not complete high school or primary only if you did not attend high school at all. And when you select these two, therefore automatically you'll have to qualify through two year work experience. About correctly selecting the level of education, I discussed in a video that I'm going to attach it here. And in that video, I clearly explained how to select the level of education. And I said that if you select primary school only, or you select high school no degree, or you select vocational courses, that means you're going to qualify only through the work experience. Please, if you have not, like the video and also subscribe to the channel and let's meet in that next video.